Greetings. Your diet is not only what you eat. You see, because most people live mostly on the physical realm and they dwell more on what is taking place on the outside. Many people miss what is taking place on the inside, especially when it comes to their psyche. You see, most people fail to realize that thoughts become things and that imagination is what creates reality. That is why most people fail to actually go on a real mental diet. So the real diet should be a mental diet because if your mind is right and you have healthy thinking, you wouldn't want unhealthy food because you see, your gut walk along with your brain. Therefore, if you're sick in your brain, most likely you get sick in your gut too because you wouldn't eat the right things. So my brother and my sisters, everything begins with the mind. Everything starts from within. Do you think someone would just eat junk food day after day just like that? Do you believe that people are doing the things that they are doing and it has nothing to do with their thinking? Everything has to do with our thinking. So the real diet that you should be focusing upon, it has to do with what you entertain daily in your mind. And so many people who are religious and superstitious, they read the Bible. And when they, they read about eating and they read about food, all they can see is the physical because they've been taught to believe in the Bible from an exoteric standpoint. They believe that the Bible is literal and secular history. But I'm saying that the Bible addresses the human mind and must be interpreted psychologically. So when you understand it esoterically and psychologically, and metaphysically, you would realize that it is taking place inwardly. And so when I speak about eating, it is partaking. And so what are you partaking on each and every day? Are you feasting on the propaganda, on the news? Are you feasting on the soap opera? Are you feasting on the Jerry Springer? And feasting on the Murray? And feasting on the divorce court and all of these things? What are you feasting upon? Because what are you feasting upon? That is what would reflect in your outer world. So sometimes we see people in the physical realm being obese and overweight. It is because sometimes many people are not taking good care of themselves and they haven't loved themselves enough. And they fail to realize that the, the health is the wealth. Okay, and then there are those who will go to the extreme and they would go on certain diets in the physical but never go on diet and the spiritual because they still chop to the old beliefs. They still play the victim game and all of these things because they fail to realize that you have to cleanse your mind first. And that is why even the Bible says it's not what really goes into a man that defiles him, but what comes out of a man. Because it is teaching you how the mind works. It is teaching you that nothing can happen. And it was a false thought, a false idea, a false imagine. So my brother, my sisters, my encouragement to you is to go on a mental diet. That's the real diet that you need in your life. And that will fix everything else. So, with that being said, my brother and my sister, I just wanted to take this sharp moment to really remind you and to encourage you to look within and to fix yourself from inside out and to get on the real true diet whereby you get that soup for your soul, that chicken soup for your soul. And when it's a chicken soup, it is just saying a healthy soup, okay, filled with protein. Okay, something that will build and nourish. Of course, there's some people might say, oh, you're glorifying chicken. <laughs> you understand? But it's just a terminology. Okay, 
But the thing is, I'm encouraging you to take control over your mind. Instead of you focusing more on your body than, than on your mind. So let me say again, if this is the very first time that you listen to me, what I'm saying, if it makes sense, if it resonates with you and you haven't subscribed already, I definitely want to encourage you to subscribe, to like, to comment, and to share this video. Also, if you like to follow me on Instagram, if you like to follow me on TikTok, you can follow me at Black Mad Guru. And if you like to have a one-on-one -on -one with me, you can reach out to me by way of email. Once the terms and conditions suit you, we can definitely work together. Also, I have a Patreon community. I'd like to invite you to be a part of my Patreon community. However, for people donating 20 or more dollars, I have a course called the Inner Sun Science and Technology to create your reality consciously. And along with that is a bonus course and self-concept. So if you feel strongly to listen to those videos, I definitely encourage you to do so. Also, I've just uploaded my latest book. It's called Spiritual Recipe for Better Living. And truly, there's a lot of great recipe that is in that book that will help you to grow spiritually and to live the best version of your life here on this planet. Therefore, if you'd like to get it, I just want to remind you that there's a link that is down below so you can check it out. Also, before I leave you, I just want to say if you feel strongly there to support this work, that I'm just reminding you that we have a paper and the link is always down below. So with that being said, my brothers and my sisters, I just want to say peace. Love you all. I'm out.